Good evening, this is Bridget with the National Weather Service in Slidell, Louisiana, and here's your Sunday weather briefing. Hopefully everyone had had a chance to enjoy the pleasant weather this weekend. Unfortunately, that'll be coming to an end soon. Showers and thunderstorms will be arriving Monday into Monday night, and these chances will be going out through pretty much the whole entire week. In particular, on Tuesday into Wednesday, there is some chance of severe weather and heavy rainfall. Drought conditions are still ongoing for parts of Louisiana and Mississippi, but with the aforementioned heavy rainfall potential, there may be some relief coming for that. And finally, taking a quick sneak peek into the end until next weekend, so that's going to be starting like April 16th to about the 20th, below average temperatures will be possible. Taking a look at some of the severe weather potential coming up this week, on Tuesday, there is a slight risk, which is a level two out of five of severe weather for areas north and west of Macomb, Mississippi and Baton Rouge. For the rest of Louisiana and parts of southern Mississippi, the rest of that will be a level one out of five, which is a marginal risk of severe weather. We're mostly concerned about damaging winds, but we can't rule out an isolated tornado or some large hail. In addition, there may be some heavy rainfall associated with some of the thunderstorms that come by. Moving on to Wednesday, the chance of severe weather continues for pretty much all of uh, southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi. We're again mostly concerned about damaging wind gusts and there may be some large hail isolated tornadoes possible. In addition, there is a heavy rainfall threat. so. There could potentially be street flooding or that kind of thing. Some of the details are a little vague right now, but we're hoping that we're going to be able to narrow this down in the coming days. So make sure to keep an eye on the latest forecasts. And now is also a great time to review your safety plans. It's important to be prepared and not scared. Now taking a look at the forecasted rainfall totals for this coming week. There's going to be probably widespread totals of one to two inches, but there's going to be also hot spots of two to four inches or greater. And for any thunderstorms that pass by, that may be able to bring any localized totals higher than that. The bulk of this rain we're anticipating to be on Tuesday and Wednesday, but I included the whole entire week just to show an idea of how much extra rain we're expecting so far. Now moving on to the seven day forecast, I have a couple selected cities here. For New Orleans, the highs will generally be around 80 for each day and lows somewhere between in the 60s into the low 70s. The chances of rain are going to be about 20 to 40% throughout the whole entire week with the exception of around Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday in particular has an 80% chance of rain. For Baton Rouge, the temperatures will be around the low 80s or the high 70s, with the exception of Saturday when we're forecasting it to be in the mid 80s. The lows will be around the 60s throughout the whole entire time, pretty much. And again, similar, uh, we're starting to expect rain tonight, very low chance, but it'll start to increase through the week with a peak of 80% chance on Wednesday. And then for Thursday and Friday, it will be about 30%, and then maybe about 15% on Saturday. For Gulfport, Mississippi, the temperatures will be around the upper 70s to around 80, and the low temperatures will be in the 60s, with the exception on Thursday, where we're forecasting a low of about 58. For rainfall chances, we're not expecting any tonight, but for Monday and Tuesday, it will be about a 30% chance. Again, about 80% chance of rain on Wednesday, and then it'll slowly t start to taper off starting Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday will be about 30% and 15% respectively. Now taking a look at the drought monitor for Louisiana and Mississippi, we'll start with Louisiana. Unfortunately, most of southern Louisiana is in D3 or an extreme drought, with other places such as the rest of southeast Louisiana will be in the D1 moderate drought to D2 severe drought. For Mississippi, it's looking a little better, but there are still parts of southwest Mississippi that has D2 severe drought. For the rest of southern Mississippi, including coastal Mississippi, we have a D0, which is abnormally dry, to a D1, which is moderate drought. 
And again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, due to forecasted rainfall totals, there may be some relief on that. It just depends on where the rain ends up falling. And finally, now taking a look at the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, we have about a 40 to 50% chance of below normal temperatures. This is a pretty potent system that's going to be passing through the United States this weekend. As you can see further up north, they even have a likely below. So we're going to be a little cooler starting this weekend into early next week. And that's all I have. Please remember to keep an eye on the latest forecast. Otherwise, thanks and have a good upcoming week. If you need any info on social media, we are on Facebook and Twitter at NWS New Orleans, and it's also NWS New Orleans for Facebook. You can also get our latest forecast at our website, weather.gov slash New Orleans.